following what is perhaps the worst release of all time, World War 3 is now at a state to where maybe half of the community can get into a game to play, even though there are multiple bugs and glitches in the game once you get in. In this video, I'd like to explore the possibility of whether World War 3 can recover and be the game it promised to be following a very horrible, rocky launch. As many of you know, for 30 hours following the launch, a majority of people, I'd say maybe 90 or 85 percent of the player base or people who bought the game, were not able to get into a single match and they were stuck on the loading screen. Now this situation led to an explosion in the World War 3 Discord and a slew of dank memes in the World War 3 community subreddit. For 30 hours this went on. I personally was not able to get into a single match over the 30 hour period from the release of the game to me making this video. I just finished a stream where I played two matches and one match before then where the only problem I had was some intense stuttering on the last match and also being unable to load back to the menu following a match. So I've got to say that that is better than not being able to play the game at all, but it's definitely not ideal. In that 30 hour time span, I was able to get into one match by pasting some sort of fix into the launch options in Steam that people were spamming in the Discord chat. Now that worked for one game. Following that, I was not able to play anymore. So now that this game has had this awesomely bad release, can it recover? Now I think that this game is amazing. I was able to play it beforehand, before the public release during the early testing and I loved it. I was beyond excited for this and it just breaks my heart that this release is absolutely horrible. Someone in my stream chat earlier just said that this could possibly be the worst game release of all time and I really don't have any place to argue because even Battlefield 4, you were at least able to play the game when it came out even though it did have netcode and rubber banding and other issues like that, you were able to get into matches. In this game, you couldn't even get past the loading screen and that's unacceptable. Now I understand lots of people are going to come to the defense of the game and say, hey, it's an early access game. Give the devs a break. You know, uh, you pretty much signed the paper when you bought the game when it said it was early access saying, you know, some things may not work right. But for the amount of hype that they built up for this game, for it to simply not work, and a huge amount of people were expecting it, and they can't even get in and play the game, people are rightfully upset. They paid money, and they literally can't play the game until 30 hours after the game's release. And when they can get in now, it's still almost unplayable and loading and customization and stuff like that doesn't save. You still have that problem where when you create a customization or a loadout in the customization menu, it doesn't carry over into the game where it doesn't list the weapons in the loadout. Just some weird problems or vehicle customizations don't save once you click out of them. Some really interesting bugs, but that's the kind of stuff that you expect from early access, not literal unplayability. So now I'm going to answer the question that I posed at the beginning of this video. Do I think that this game can be saved? Do I think that the community can be built up? Do I think that the game isn't going to crash and burn? Yes. Yes, I think it can. Because I believe that the core gameplay, the mechanics, and the idea of the game is stronger than this controversy and problem that came out from its release. No matter what problems this game faced on launch, be it unplayability or not being able to load or weird glitches where your body's just floating through the air and no running animation is playing. Those can be ironed out and fixed. I believe the core gameplay, the graphics, the customization, all of that is amazing to me. And I think that the quality of those ideas are stronger than the issues that came up from this game launch. So in short, yes. This game can pick itself back up after this launch. And the dev team is doing a great job of communicating with the community. Uh, it, there was a lot of radio silence for like the first 24 hours. Uh, and I wasn't really happy about that because I really wanted to play this game. I mean, I love this game. I am, I freaking love it very much. And it just breaks, it's like, it's like uh, when you have a pet and you love that pet very much. And then that pet bites you or nips at you or breaks something. You're like, oh, you stupid, you stupid dog. But then you're like, you know what? I love you anyway, because I know I could train you and fix you to be better. And I love you more than what just happened. And that's kind of my relationship with this game. Anyway, I encourage you guys not to refund. I encourage you to be patient because my opinion is that this modern shooter is the best since Battlefield 4. Check out the video where I actually got a good game in that you can actually see what's going on. Or you can check out my archived live streams. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this stuff. I'm going to be making plenty of World War III content, and I appreciate you guys dropping in the stream, leaving comments, liking. It means the world to me. And we just reached 150 subscribers. And my last video on this game got more than 800 views, and that is just amazing. Thank you guys so much for making this possible. This is so much fun for me to do when I'm able to interact with you guys like this. Anyway, leave a comment and a like if you enjoyed it or dislike if you didn't. And uh, please join the Discord if you want to be part of the conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Smarty771 signing off, and I will see you in the next video. Objective Alpha 1 is under attack. Friendly airstrike incoming. Your UAV is ready for deployment. Our units are taking hold of objectives.